if you own a 2010 to 2014 Raptor and you're looking for arguably the most affordable front bumper upgrade and you want a very convenient and easy to install plug and play auxiliary lighting option in one, then you should be checking out Red Rock 4x4's off-road tubular front bumper with this very nice 30 inch LED light bar included. Even though this is going to be one of the most affordable options on the page, it is still very well built. I would say the quality matches some of the more expensive options available actually. It's made out of stainless steel, it's all single piece, it's a welded design. I really like the fact that it uses a tubular frame with these welded plates on here. Overall, I would say that it improves your Raptor's capability and it's a little bit less bulky than the factory front bumper, so it'll kind of improve your approach angles as well. I'm also very happy to say that the included LED light bar is equally as well built. Actually, has a really tough polycarbonate lens on there, has a black aluminum housing with the same matte black powder coat finish, so it's safe to say that these two items in one can certainly stand up to the abuse that you might put your Raptor through off-road. The LED light bar in question does have a spot and spread beam combo, so you get the best of both worlds. And what I really like about this is it includes a plug and play harness. There's no splicing or custom wiring required. You actually get a really nice little button toggle that you can mount anywhere inside the cab so you can turn the LED light bar on and off at your choosing. The install is pretty straightforward, but it can be a little time consuming and it can be a little bit difficult just because the bumper is pretty heavy. So I'd give it a two out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter. Should take you about two to three hours to get this done at home. You will only need basic hand tools even still. So if you like the way the Red Rock 4x4 looks and you want to get some cool auxiliary lighting on your Raptor, you should stick around. I'm actually going to show you guys how to get this bolted up step by step. To install a new bumper, you will need the following tools. Standard drive ratchets, an 8mm socket, a 10mm socket, a 13mm socket, a 21mm socket, and a 13mm wrench. Optional but helpful tools include a pair of snips and a cordless impact. So removing your factory bumper is pretty easy. You can definitely do this in the driveway. Like I said, you don't even really need to get the truck off the ground any more than it is. In order to remove the factory bumper, there are four nuts retaining it. So to remove those nuts, you're going to need a 21mm socket. So now that we have our factory bumper removed, I wanted to show you guys a quick comparison of our new one. That way we can see how much of an upgrade this is in terms of looks and function. One of the things I really like about the new bumper is the fact that it has a black powder coated finish. The factory bumper does not have a powder coated finish, so while it looks good, it's safe to say if you use your Raptor the way it was intended, you take it off road or you throw it through some brush or debris, this will start to scratch. The finish might crack, fade, or peel. It's not the case with the powder coat finish. This is actually a baked on finish. It's tough as hell. It's safe to say you can throw this thing through some rocks and mud, things like that. You're not gonna have to worry about the finish coming off. Other reason I really like this new bumper is it's a lot stronger, it's a lot more rigid than the factory bumper. The tubular setup adds a lot of strength to it. it doesn't add a lot of weight, I'm happy to say. It's actually not that much heavier than the factory bumper. You also got these nice welded plates on the front of the new bumper. The welds are really well done, they're thick and it's gonna add more rigidity and more strength even still. But what I like most about this bumper is the fact that you can actually install some light mounting options in the center here. If you do pick up the optional LED light bar, it bolts right on, includes a provided wiring harness, but if you wanted to get creative and use your own lighting solutions, there are plenty of ways to go about it with this bumper. And last but not least, it is a bolt-on application. The brackets where the bumper bolts onto the truck are a bit reinforced compared to the factory bumper, but there's no custom hardware to install it. We're actually gonna reuse our factory hardware to get the new bumper on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to get it done. Now, since we have our bumper with our light bar included, we're gonna install the hardware and mount the light bar first before we install the bumper. Installing the light bar is pretty easy. They actually provide brackets and hardware for that. To tighten down this hardware, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna install the brackets first because it is a little bit of a tight fit. Once we got the brackets installed, we can actually install the light bar itself. All right, now that we have those brackets installed, we left them hand tightened because we want to have a little bit of play. As you saw, it is a bit of a squeeze in there. But next step is installing the light bar itself. Similar hardware, you're gonna need some bolts, some flat washers and crush washers. I'll show you guys how to get this bolted up and then we'll tighten everything down. All 
All right, now that our light bar is squared up and tightened down, our new bumper is technically ready to be installed. However, in order to install our new bumper, we're actually reusing the bolts from our factory bumper. To free those bolts from the factory bumper, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna swap those bolts over to our new bumper brackets right here. In order to secure those bolts, you're gonna need these plastic retainers in the kit. All right, now that our bolt plates are on our new bumper and retained in place, we can finally throw our new bumper back on our truck and tighten it down with the original 21 millimeter nuts that we loosened earlier. Go ahead and take your time throwing the bumper on. It is a bit heavy. It might be helpful to have a friend help you get it in place. Now that our bumper is installed and tightened down, we are going to install the wiring harness for the light bar itself. This is technically a plug and play design. It actually can draw its power directly from your battery terminals. So first things first, you're going to connect this end into the light bar itself. And you're actually going to connect the red and black ends to the terminal leads on your battery, red for positive and your black for negative. To loosen the leads, you're going to need an eight millimeter socket. Once you get those leads hooked up, you should see a little red light here on the button control for the light bar itself, and then you can just give it a little press, and you can see that our light bar is working just fine. Now, this is technically the plug and play version of the install. Obviously, the Raptor does come with that auxiliary panel inside the cab. If you wanted to, you could splice this into that auxiliary panel, but that's another discussion for another day. We wanted to keep ours as a bolt-on plug and play installation, so we went ahead and we stuck with the switch. If you want to, you can go ahead and feed the switch through the firewall, and you can actually mount this on the dash or anywhere in the cab where you see fit. So once you got your light bar wiring routed to your liking, that'll wrap up the install. And that also wraps up my review of Red Rock 4x4's off-road tubular front bumper with the 30-inch LED light bar fitting your 2010 to 2014 Raptor. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. For all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.